Hello, you're seeing the inside of my MacBook Pro right now, and you probably shouldn't be because it should be working fine. But it's just decided to up and kill itself. So today, I'm editing in Final Cut Pro on a MacBook Pro 2011 15 inch with no dedicated graphics, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and a spinning drive. This video might look a bit rough because of how shit the performance is on that machine at the moment, because I need eight gigabytes of RAM. If I had eight gigs, it'd be fine. It's just the freaking spinning drive. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm not very happy and I really didn't want this to happen, but ugh. these Retina MacBooks are shit. They are not reliable. Don't fucking bother buying one. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Hello everyone, my name is Delta, and I wish I was clickbaiting when I said that yet again, I'm having MacBook issues. So, a while ago, I traded my 2013 13-inch MacBook for a 2013 15-inch. Initially, that machine had a broken screen, bought a 2012 to fix it, which had a busted right speaker, as you saw in one of my earlier videos. I'm pretty sure it was thanks for 200 subscribers. And the 2013 worked absolutely flawlessly for a very long time, like two or three months, it worked completely flawlessly, no issues. And then one day, it just wouldn't post anymore. It just would not boot properly, and I never even really knew what happened. I suspect one of the RAM chips on the board is dying, but I'm not actually sure. So that was, that cost me around 199. However, it still had this chassis, which was in much nicer condition. So I decided I'll just swap the 2012's board in. So in the end, I just swapped the 2012's board into the 2013 shell because it was in much better condition and had a working speaker. Now, it's always been a bit iffy. I didn't want to return it at the time because I was using it as a Minecraft server and it was an independent seller, so you never really know what you're going to get in terms of stuff, returns and shit. But essentially, 2013 died, put the 2012 board in, and literally less than a month later, the 2012 won't post. I've gone through all the regular troubleshooting, taken the bottom off, can't find anything wrong with it. Which is why this is so weird. I hope to get the 2013 board back briefly, because my friend Daniel has it and he's going to smash it for a video, but I hope to get that 2013 board back briefly so I can at least test to see if something else has failed or if it's just straight up board failure again. Uh, yeah, I wish, I wish I was joking. I've gone through so many Macs recently. Luckily, most of them I managed to get my money back for or send back and fix this is the only one that i won't be able to do this do that for so essentially it's around 150 to 200 pounds down the toilet which is way less than ideal however i do plan on getting a job soon so that loss won't hurt as much hopefully but i did the iphone 6 challenge for a week and i've had this copy of final cut pro I had a copy of Final Cut Pro that I took off Daniel's SSD and it finally gets its chance to shine because I put the same copy of the app onto here and it updated itself. But this is the original version and hopefully it'll just work and hopefully it's not going to complain about it not, it not running Mojave. Hopefully it'll just work. So yeah, this thing does not have graphics issues. Apparently one of the, the top RAM slot failed and I've replaced the thermal paste, cleaned out the fans, so this thing's actually running cooler than this thing at the moment. But I am very upset that this thing has just become a prop, basically. I knew it was going to happen because that 2012 board's been a bit iffy since day one, but I'm not happy about it regardless. I am going to be finding a key for this, don't worry, I'm going to give it its key back later, and I'm going to be putting an SSD and an eight gig stick of RAM into here, and we and we should just be able to get this thing to work as well as it possibly can, because I've got to be relying on this for a few months at least, which is really, really annoying. Did my RAM just die? Hello, I didn't really expect to be making a part two of this video, I just thought it was gonna be done and finished, but I think this is gonna be a bit of a longer term vlog because 
I'm still having MacBook issues, and the 2011 has disappointed me. Okay, so the 2011 does seem to be working completely fine. However, there's a very small issue with it that means I can't get the most out of it. Essentially, what's happened is something has either failed on the board or the SATA cable's dying, but it can't read an SSD. I've tried three different SSDs in it and it just won't see them. So I've ordered a, I've ordered a cable and a data doubler so I can install a second drive in and I'm going to try installing High Sierra to that drive and just see what happens, see if it detects it then or if it's just something wrong with the board that just refuses to allow it to see any other form of storage than a 5400 RPM hard drive. So I haven't really got any big plans for this video. I haven't really got any big plans for this week's video, so I'm going to be putting four gigabytes of RAM into this MacBook and just try and just editing on it this week simply because it's got an SSD. It has faster read write speeds, which means that it might be able to handle 1080p video. I guess we'll see. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. The video for this week is pretty much just going to be me trying to fix this iPhone 6 that I threw around in a few videos. It's water damaged, I think. Well, that's what I'd assume, considering that's what I did to it. But that's probably going to be edited on this thing, which is going to be an interesting experience because it's been a while since I edited on a 13-inch MacBook. It's not even a MacBook Pro, it's just a 13-inch MacBook. And this is my travel laptop because I mainly have 15 inch laptops and they take up a lot of space so i bought this in january for 35 quid as the with the intention of just carrying it around taking it places with me and it's got an excellent keyboard so that's quite nice to do i've written so many scripts on this thing it's unreal uh i currently have mac os el capitan on here however i am going to be patching it to high sierra that's what i'm doing now so yeah there will be another update to the MacBook situation when all the parts arrive and you'll be able to see what came of this. Yeah, hopefully I don't need to make any more of these videos. Yesterday my data doubler arrived. Let's... Uh, MacBook's dead, battery's dead. Okay, um, the battery's dead, but... Oh. It says it's got charge, but it's not booting. Okay, never mind, I'll work on that later. I'll work that out later. It's probably just a dead battery. So today I'm going to try reflowing this guy, but I'll do a separate update video if that ends up working because I don't believe that it will. My MacBook situation is just a little bit better because I can actually edit on an SSD now, but eh, still we haven't got the best of luck so far. But that's about it for this one, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I got my MacBook Pro 2011 working, so now I can edit properly and I can actually edit this video. And it should come out the day I'm filming it if the heat wave doesn't kill me first.